Hi, Mrs Mitchell's group. This week, you're going to be writing words and sentences about different pictures. Let's have a look at this one. What can you see in the picture? Pause the video while you write down some words and phrases. Okay, so I can see here a climbing net, or sometimes it's called a spider's web. We have got some people here and they are on a balance beam. We've got some seats here. I'm going to write colourful seats. We have got a climbing frame with a slide and lots of children. Here are some of the things I can see. A boy on the slide, some children on the bench, two girls climbing. Can we turn these phrases into sentences by adding more words? And this time we're going to really be thinking about the way that we are starting our sentences. So we don't start them all in exactly the same way with the same word. We're going to think about some different ways to start it. So I need to say that I can see a boy on the slide. I don't want to really say I can see. What is the boy doing? So the boy is sliding quickly. Some children on the bench there's two children here what are they doing looks like this boy here is balancing on the bench two children are balancing while having fun on the bench and I've got two girls climbing so here the girls are climbing I'm going to call this a spider's web I could say two girls are climbing that's going to be very similar to two I could say the girls are climbing, but I've already got the boy here. So instead, I'm going to say, and start my sentence by saying where they're climbing. Up the spider's web, comma, two girls are climbing. So I've made sure that I've started each sentence in a different way. I'm describing what they're doing, maybe where they are, how they're feeling while they're doing it, just to add a little bit more information into my sentences. Can you now turn these phrases into sentences by adding more words? A blindfolded girl, so this girl here is blindfolded and she's holding a bat and she's going to hit this animal which will have lots of sweets inside and if she makes a hole in the, in the animal all the sweets will fall out and that's the aim of the game. Three children on seats, these are the colourful seats, and a boy pulling funny faces. And the boy over here is pulling funny faces. Pause the video while you try to write three interesting sentences, thinking carefully about your spelling and punctuation. Okay, so a blindfolded girl now this, what she's actually hitting, is called a piñata. So I might use that word in there, it's a technical word. I'm going to say a blindfolded girl is trying to hit the piñata to win some sweets. So I'm saying why she's doing that. Three children on seats. Looks like maybe they're playing a game together. I'm going to start by saying on the colourful seats. So I'm thinking about my sentence purpose. I'm starting by saying where they are. On the colourful seats, three children are smiling and playing games. Then over here, a boy is pulling funny faces. I might describe him a little bit. So the boy, or I might say next to, so where he is, next to the climbing net.
a boy is pulling funny faces and trying to make the other children laugh. So this time we've really focused on adding more detail into our sentences and making them more interesting. To finish, try to find things in the picture that start with as many letters of the alphabet as you can. So for example, k climbing frame, s seats, b bench, p piñata. See how many you can get. If you like, you could email me so I can see who's got the most. See you tomorrow.